Hey guys, it's Dan. Um, today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Yes, my first one where I actually speak out loud. Um, well, it's kind of voiceovered, but you get the drift. I'm going to be telling you things like what products I use, whether they're cheap or expensive. Uh, I'm probably not going to tell you what brushes I use because I have loads and it just takes too much time. Uh, we will be sort of zooming in and seeing a few different things. Now, just be careful before before you watch my um, my makeup tutorial. Obviously, I do my makeup differently to everybody else. Like we all have our own like cheats and tricks, and my face is different to a lot of people. So things that might work for me probably won't work for you or, or may work for you whichever because I have quite deep set eyes and I have quite a forward brow um, and obviously the dimensions then of the makeup are ever so slightly different so we're gonna go with it now in a few minutes it's gonna cut to me as Vivi with the finished makeup and then we're gonna start with the makeup tutorial if you you know if you have any questions or anything like that just hit me up um, send me a message and I promise I will try and reply to everybody as if anybody even watches this. Um, <laughs> have a great day and I will see you soon. Then, so normally I start off with uh, my eyebrows, I glue them down. Um, it's really easy stuff. There are so many tutorials on how to do this on YouTube, so many. Uh, but normally just glue stick. I glue them down, I put them into place, I get rid of the excess around the edges just with a baby wipe. That makes things quite easy, I think, to be honest, to blend later on. And then just a bit of setting powder over the top. And then I use a hairdryer. It's just quicker and easier. It just makes things dry better. And that's how I do my eyebrows. Um, I'll try and show you just like one side each way, and then it doesn't get too long in the tutorial. And then nice and easy, a little bit of primer, any primer will do, and some normal masking tape, just to make sure the lines are clean and that I don't color out of the lines. I'm really bad for this, to be honest, if I'm left to my own devices. Uh, then we use some Cryolan. Now I use two, uh, no, three TV paint sticks. I use the first one, which is a 3W, just to do an over base. I then use um, 070, which is in white. It's like clown white, I suppose, in the middle, and blend that in. And then around the outside, I use 7W uh, in, uh, yes, in the Cryolan TV paint stick around the outsides. And then we blend all of that together as well. Now, I go over the top of this with three different powders as well to contrast. So we end up having um, like a better look, I think, in the end. Um, and I use these from a company called Fluoromar, and they're in light sand, beige sand, and bronze sand. Then we go in with a TV paint stick in 070 into the middle of my eyes and that's how I sort of shape my lid um, and before I go around it in pencil. It just makes things easier for me to see and then I go over that with a bit of powder and then start going in with any, any sort of eyeliner really to be honest. You just put it over the top, make sure it's kind of a darker one, browns are always good. And then I go over the top of this again with just some drugstore, some normal, um, some eyeliner in a pen. Um, and then I wing those right down to the bottom to the corner of my own eye. Now over the top of this, I use a deep brown. Now those are by Cryolan as well. They're eyeshadows. Um, and I think these colors are in chocolate and Congo. And I just go in there and just start building up and blending out from the, from the bottom. Uh, just to above the top like that. Now you can use whatever colour you want. Today I went with a little bit of purple. Now with that purple, that is literally just a cheap ass eyeshadow. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, just make sure, obviously, that the pigmentation is is quite high because you need to uh, you need it to be seen. And then I go in with that on both sides, and then smudge it in with a black, which is also a cheap black. Smudge it in with black and just make sure there are no harsh lines. Easy does it. Now we do the eyeliner. Now I am notoriously awful, 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 awful at this. Um, I just start with one eye and it generally gets bigger and bigger and bigger as I go along. As you can tell, <laughs> start off small and then go up gradually, as gradual as you can. And then over the top of this, just the black eyeshadow again, just to, uh, to make sure it sets it in place. 
and then start drawing on my eyebrows. I use the same brown that I used for my, uh, my crease. And I draw this. I do them freehand. A lot of people don't. But I just actually find it easier, to be honest. Um, yeah, it just makes life easier, I think, to freehand. It's always good as a trick, anyway. Um, and then I use a palette of browns, uh, soft brown down to black. Um, and then from the outsides, I go from dark, dark black from the outside and underneath my brow, um, and then fade it up to uh, like gradient to, uh, to light brown. So light brown for the middle, and then follow it all the way around to dark, dark black at the edge of the eyelashes, at the eye, uh, eyebrows, sorry. Ta-da! Then I'm smudging him, smudging him with the eyes a little bit. I like to use a little bit uh, of uh, glue now on the inside of the eyes. I'll tell you more about that in a second. But normally I put on the glue on the outside of, uh, on the inside, sorry, of my eye. And then I apply some glitter. Now this is from Stargazer and I really like the glitters. I've got so many different colors to that. Um, and I just apply some glitter. Make sure you get the excess off as well. Now I'm just um, doing my foundation for the lower half of my face and contouring my nose. It's the exact same three different colored uh, foundations that I used earlier on for the top of my face. Now I know some people like to do um, all the face together, but I think because of the heat that I'm in over here in Spain, it's good to start with the top half and then work down. Otherwise the, uh, the concealer wouldn't stay to my face. The TV paint stick wouldn't stick to my face by the time I'd done the top of my head and my nose and my cheeks. So I do the top half first and also it stops any fallout as well from the eyeshadows. You can just wipe it all away. Okay, so contouring the nose. Again, there are so many tutorials for this, but try and Take your own and blend, blend, blend. It's so important to blend because so many people don't do it and it leaves really harsh lines. Now in my drag anyway, I quite like the harsh lines. A lot of people don't. I don't really go for like effeminate drag. I'm kind of in the middle of clown and fish. I don't try and be anything really, to be honest. Um, just what works on my face. So we contour, we've done the nose now. Now, a, um, a lovely like, orange eyeshadow will really disguise your beard, so make sure you put that on first. I also use alcohol gel before I put on any of, uh, any of my primers. It just helps sort of draw out any last bit of moisture. Now we blend, so same paint stick again, but this is 070 in white. I do the tip of my chin, and I also do um, sort of from the nose and sweep it round into the corners of the face, just above the cheeks. And then we use some more powder to set that. And we go in with the cheeks now, with a contour. Um, it depends what I'm feeling, really. Sometimes I use um, like a rounded cheek, and sometimes I use kind of a harsh line. Um, Raven does this quite a lot, and I absolutely love it. I think it's really, it's harsh, but it's kind of sexy, I think, to be honest. I mean, you know, we're, we're making women. You know, we are dudes. We have to make our face look nice and tight. Uh, so that's what I do. I use two different browns here. I actually use a really dark brown by Cryolan, um, and it's the really, really dark brown. I can't say which color it is, because uh, I lost the lid. Um, however, I do, um, I do that sort of on the, the line underneath, and then above that is obviously the, uh, the 7W. There you go, you can see it now. Okay, the, using the really, really dark brown as well, I then go underneath the face and contour that. I've got quite a wide jaw as well, so I like it to look a little bit more feminine, if I can. I mean, I'm a dude, you know. Okay, now we just uh, ever so slightly a little bit of contouring brown just under the lid of the, uh, of the lip. Just widens the face. It widens the lip area, actually, to be honest. It makes it uh, look more voluptuous. Okay, then we're going in with those three setting powders again. So with the brown setting powder on top of the brown, the white on top of the white, and the beige on top of the beige. Okay, we're just gonna fill in a little bit now and do some little touch-ups. Go back in with that black pencil. Then we're gonna go in now with the, uh, the same brown that we used earlier. This is the Cryolan in Congo and Chocolate. And I just use that to contour the, uh, the sides of the nose and then blend it in so it's not as harsh. Like I said, I really like a harsh line, but uh, a lot of queens don't use it. It's up to you. It's your face. Just do what works for you. Uh, and then I go in with a little bit as well of that Congo and chocolate on the cheeks and just down the side to contour the chin. 
It just adds a little dimension to it. Then under the eye, this is the same drugstore cheap ass purple eyeshadow. We put it underneath the eyes and wing it out ever so slightly, but make sure you blend it because obviously it really is, you know, if it's pigmented especially, um, it can look like you've got a lot on and make it look a little bit cakey. Nobody likes that. And then I'm going in with the same black eye pencil, which is actually a liquid eye pencil. And uh, this goes in under the eye, it just widens the eye ever so slightly. And then I like to put a wing underneath uh, my top, but I mean, you can or you can't. You could also just join it up to the natural wing that you've created. Then I like to blend a little bit of black into that just to make it look nice. Onto the lips. Now, again, this is just a cheap drugstore lip liner. I think actually this, to be honest, is a cream liner. And um, I have real problems with lips. I've always had real problems with lips. It's something that really doesn't come very natural to me, to be honest. Um, but I generally only will use um, sort of a lip liner and then outline that with the same black. I like a harsh lip line. Again, it's optional. And then I fill in the same purple that I used on the eyeshadow on the eyes. I fill that in on the lips. Just again, a cheap, like really pigmented pink blusher for the cheeks. And put it from the, uh, the apple of your chin and then swoop up. That's really, it kind of makes a better, uh, a better color. Also with the eyelashes, I use two pairs from a cheap Chinese drugstore. Uh, but I try and go for the nice ones, the ones that look a little bit more natural. And I stack up two of those and they just go on top. I also use, by the way, it's, a, it's an English thing. I don't think you guys can get it in America. But I use Copidex and it's a glue for fabrics. Uh, but this actually stays on all night. Hi guys, so it's VV back again. This is the finished look. Um, obviously I've added a wig, I've contoured my tits. Um, because it's Halloween as well, I've kind of bunched up the wig a little bit. Every queen needs volume. Don't have nails, who cares? It's drag, do what you like. Um, I have padded, I have padded everything. So, as you can tell, she is fierce. <laughs> um, have a wonderful time. I hope this uh, tutorial was um, thorough and informative. If you need anything, you just click down below, subscribe, um, write me questions, give me comments. I, I try to reply to everybody. Um, I'm a whore, I love it. <laughs> so yeah, feel free to leave me a comment, subscribe. I love you all, thank you very much for being a delightful, and I'll see you again soon. Mwah. Bye.